Hello, sir. Sir David. Look at your little soul patch. Your little soul patch. <laughs> Rose looking as bored as ever. I honestly don't feel like she even hates the crate. Like, she was born to be a crate-confined dog. <laughs> Only six more weeks to go. Have no idea where Des is. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm not actually sure. Is my face going to look like a lizard? I'm currently peeling from a prescription retinol that I just tried, so I don't know if I'm looking like lizard McGuire over here. Let me grab the product really quick and show it to you guys before I start, because I know you'll ask. So this is what I've been using. It's called HERS. They do prescriptions online, so you don't have to go to a doctor. This is not sponsored by them, by the way. But I've been using the 0 0.05 Tretinoin from them. I always talk about medical grade skincare, but I wanted to try prescription grade for retinol because it's supposed to be like the best thing out there for anti-aging. So I've been trying this. And so far I haven't really had any bad reactions. Obviously my skin is a little bit like dry and peely, but it's only noticeable when I'm trying to put makeup on over top, you know, like when I'm trying to like blend or apply a product over top, that's when it kind of gets like patchy and flaky. But other than that, like looking at me, you wouldn't really know. Um, it doesn't itch or burn, but I would say like around my mouth, like especially like the corners of my mouth, I would say avoid that area because I'm getting like kind of irritated there. So I don't know. But anyways, uh, today's video, Chef Staff is making an appearance. Really simple, quick, easy dinner idea as always. And I'm actually making it ahead of time because I'm going out of town for like a day and a half and I wanted Tommy to have something to eat for dinner while I was gone. So yeah, I am just making this ahead of time so he can pop it in the oven while I'm gone because I am going to the dentist a few hours away in Massachusetts to get my bonding redone. So if you guys didn't know, I have dental bonding on my front teeth and it's not holding up because it's my front teeth, like my biting teeth, and it just is not really made for that. And so I'm going to have this other bonding done. It's called BioClear and it's a lot more stronger and durable than traditional bonding. And it's not quite a veneer, so it's reversible. If I ever wanted to not have it, I can take it off, which is kind of the difference with veneers. Like veneers are like permanent and I can't, I can't do that. Permanent just sounds too scary to me. So I don't know if that is interesting to you guys at all. So I'm going to put that footage towards the end of the video. I'm going actually with my mom and my dad and my little brother on this trip. They're joining with me and Tommy's going to stay home um, with Rose. So yeah, that'll be at the end of the video. But now I'm going to make some iced coffee because I need to power through and get everything I need to get done before I leave. I guess it wasn't recording, but... So then for dinner, I am doing another pasta dish, surprise, surprise, but this one is so easy to throw together. So it's kind of like a baked penne pasta with sausage and spinach and it's really good. So you're obviously gonna need some sort of pasta. I use this brand a lot, they should probably sponsor me, but I enjoy it because it has a little bit higher of a fiber content. You're gonna need some baby spinach vodka sauce or any kind of like marinara i have my own vodka sauce recipe on my channel already so i'm just being lazy and using the jarred version but this is like the best for jarred or if you have um like the charlie's pizza one near you that one's good too um then i have several different cheeses i have parmesan mozzarella like shredded and also fresh I really like to use a combination of the two and yeah then also some garlic powder and then over here in my pan I already have some hot Italian turkey sausage browning up. This is three links removed from the casing. So once that's nice and brown I'm going to add in my baby spinach. So I just used whatever was left in my bag which is about half a bag because this is going to wilt away into nothing. And obviously this is just a really easy way to get in vegetables. And spinach doesn't really have a taste, especially baby spinach. Once it's like in like a dish, you don't even know it's there. But your body knows it's there and it's like, oh my God, thank you for giving me nutrients and something other than caffeine. 
or alcohol <laughs> or wine. <laughs> then to season that, I will just add in a few cracks of this spicy salt, it's like sea salt and crushed red pepper. Then I'll also add in some garlic powder. I'm gonna add in my sauce. Then this is totally optional and I forgot to show it in the initial ingredients, but I'm gonna do a big like heaping tablespoon or two of this whipped cream cheese. It just gives it a really nice creamy factor. We're gonna add in the pasta. So here it is all mixed together. Obviously you could eat it as is, but don't do that. Take the extra time, take the extra step, and bake it in the oven with some mozzarella, and it will be worth it, okay? It's worth the two pan deal. Or if you have like a cast iron skillet or whatever and you wanna do it that way, bada bing, bada boom. Now let's add in our cheese. First up is the parm. Next up is the shredded. And I don't know why, but I have to do both. But if you decide to only do one, do the fresh. The shredded is good, but the fresh is where it's life-changing. Sir, do you mind? David, do you guys remember when I made that sausage bread? David ate an entire loaf off of the counter because he is just a nosy little boy and he's tall as a mother not a mother a father an nba player he's so tall with the longest arms david show me your, show him your reach look at that reach okay now we're gonna add in the freshy fresh fre fre eh, eh, fresh five slices no we need six six is my favorite number so we need to do six. You're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 450 and then five minutes under the broiler. So you get that bubbly browned cheesy goodness. So it is like 8 in the morning on St. Patrick's Day. I am just waiting for my parents to get here and scoop me up so we can leave. Um, but I thought this sweatshirt was fitting for Boston on St. Patrick's Day. It's green. It says the bar or the ba. <laughs> the ba? The ba? As a Bostonian person would say. I don't know. I feel like not everyone from Boston has that accent. I'm not really sure how it works. But anyways, this is what I'm wearing. I kind of feel like... Princess Diana would like this varsity style um, sweatshirt and my slouchy socks and dad shoes, but it's trendy right now, right? So yeah, I'm just waiting for my parents to get here. My dad is just perpetually late. Anyone with the last name Letta is always late. Besides me, I'm pretty punctual. I like to be on time, but everyone else in my family, I feel like it's just always late. I don't know if Letta translates to late in some language. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but yeah. Over here, I just have my base weekender bag. I really just love this bag if you're going like out of town, just for like a day or two. You can fit so much stuff in here. Um, I still have to put my laptop in here, but I just have some, you know, random clothes. My makeup bag. This is from Stony Clover. I don't even really know what's in here. I try not to bring like too much of my like my favorite items in case like something happens to them. Like I don't know if I think I'm gonna get robbed or everything is just gonna break or explode. But sometimes when I go out of town, um, I just don't like to bring like my top notch stuff. So I just throw like random things in here. But my CoverGirl powder, that's like one of my favorites, but it's cheap so it's not like a huge deal. Um, but yeah, I have the viral mascara. I, I don't even really like this. I actually kind of hate it, but I'm bringing it because I need to use it up. I don't think it's as good and it's not worth the hype to me, but it's, it's fine, but it's nothing spectacular. I don't know. So I just have a bunch of stuff here and I'm hoping my parents get here soon and I'm hoping we stop for coffee. <laughs> Actually, 
like really sunny and warm today. Harbor Walk, I guess it's called. You guys, I'm obsessed with Boston and their just old historic architecture. Like, are you kidding me? This is so pretty. It's pretty high. I had to change into my sneakers. Guys, look, it's the black rose. Irish, but it is green. Would you like to do a toast? The Bostonia. Hey. How long is half a mile? Is it? How long is half a mile? Uh, it's quite a ways. Oh, okay. Let's see, yeah. I'm trying to record it and I don't know how long it is. Oh. <laughs> uh, we've got a few blocks here. Yeah. Quite a while, and all of a sudden it was not quite a while. <laughs> Liar. It says we are. Oh, oh, we should go in. Oh, we have to go in. We that, gotta go in. That means you have to put it in the meter. Oh. Are we getting we hit by? Go in, Ed. Dad, you're gonna get my car. <laughs> and I won't save you. <laughs> we gotta go in. If they're open, we gotta go in. Yeah, we're going downstairs. Well, we gotta put. In. We gotta put some in the meter then. Lobster mac and cheese. It's literally a lobster with mac and cheese. <laughs> For some reason, I was born into one of those families who walk after dinner to get rid of the calories. <laughs> I did not inherit this trait. Looking for the adventure. I don't support this choice. <laughs> I'm wearing heels. I don't support it. I like to just go home and play. Oh no, we're coming to the end. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the Hava. Gotta get your khakis. Your khakis. <laughs> what a view.